Blue skies means fun days. Helping skydivers with tips and techniques about safety, training and fun jumping from those who know. Hi and welcome to this episode of Blue Skies Fun Days. Do you ever get bored and just look up dumb stuff on skydiving pages? Every so often I get people sending me pictures of dumb stuff or links to people doing things that make me shake my head. To get the ball rolling, let's start off with what causes a pilot shoot in tow. Here's a great example of how not to route a bridal cord. It's okay if it gets caught. It'll just snap. Maybe? Well, probably not. When making safety stows for reserve free bags using this sort of bungee cord, the loops are tested to over 300 pounds. If they break, they fail. Just out of interest, how much do you weigh? Here is a good double header. The first one is that the three ring is incorrectly routed. This will increase the load on the loop by at least a factor of 20. Also, the RSL shackle is meant to be inserted from the back. And notice the shape of the big ring? Yes, this is a tandem rig. Remember to support this channel by subscribing, ringing the bell and telling your friends. Soft links come with instructions. If in doubt, ask a rigger. At least have a look at our video on installing soft links. As shown, these links will take less than half the load they are rated for if correctly done. Tossing your rig in the car or putting inappropriate loads on a curved housing can stress that housing to the point of failure. Show your rig some love and it will look after you. No, it isn't the wear on the kill line. It's the stitching on the bridle that's failing. While zigzag stitching is amazingly strong and stretch resilient, I don't think this one's good for another jump. A bit like this hacky. Considering some manufacturers just loop the tape through the hacky, this tape could just pull off. And to finish off, it appears as though someone wants to join the cool kids by downsizing their canopy. The catch is they're still using a large container. Ponder this for a moment. Consider where the bridle gets routed. And as a cool kid, I imagine sit flying is on this person's agenda. What happens if the wind catches the bridle and causes a premature opening? Well, that's about it for this lot of scary picks. Think about your own gear and have a good look at it now or the next time it's unpacked. Fly safe and have fun. See you next time on Blue Skies Fun Days. For more tips and techniques, click subscribe.